Arab Tov Chavri, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Have breaking news. I want to thank uh, my good friend already, uh, who, who actually is the one I caught it on first here. But Emet Sigal, uh, the, uh, he works for Channel 2 News in Israel, uh, is where the alert effort we first got this at, uh, says that the White House says it is beginning stages of discussing moving the U.S. Embassy in Israel to Jerusalem. That is from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem and what an impact uh, my wife as I ran upstairs to let her know that we have this breaking news that is already happening uh, advised me that several of our viewers have already sent messages in uh, in response on the latest news that I did that the U.S. Embassy uh, excuse me that the yeah the U.S. Embassy would be moving to Jerusalem that uh, President-elect Donald Trump is already in that discussion to do exactly that uh, and then I quickly looked over at Israel National News. Trump administration begins talks for embassy move to Jerusalem. So it's already came out even uh, there. And uh, we, are, we are in line to get moving. The Trump administration began deliberations uh, on the relocation of the U.S. Embassy in Israel from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem on Sunday. Channel 2 has reported, according to this report, an official within the new administration has started that stated that President Trump will announce the embassy move on Monday. White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer confirmed Sunday that the Trump administration was considering the matter at this time, but said consideration of the subject had only just begun. Uh, we are at the very beginning stages of even discussing this subject, Spicer told the AFP. Um, so it looks like things are happening rather quickly. Uh, President uh, Trump is already making good on that pledge there. And uh, although very much welcomed by Israelis, in fact, I think it was a, uh, it was a record number 30, um, gosh, I forget exactly, uh, over 3.4 3 million, something like that, that were tuning in to uh, the inauguration in Israel. Record number of Israelis that actually viewed his inauguration. Um, and as well, uh, our good friend on Already Happened stated here that nearly 6,000 sailors attached to the George H.W. Bush Carrier strike group have deployed to the Middle East and Mediterranean. Uh, so it looks like uh, President Trump knows that he's going to have to back up Israel at any case uh, because no doubt tensions are going to be high with the moving of the uh, U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem. And again, that's why I believe that the uh, that we see that um, President, uh, or excuse me, uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu uh, approved the 560, I think it's 565 housing permits for East Jerusalem. Uh, you got to keep in mind, to me, especially we know that the German court recently ruled, uh, I think it was back in 2013, that uh, Israel had full rights to be in Samaria and Judea. It was the first international court, in French court that was, the French court, that ever approved or, or deliberated the actual legality of Israel to be in Judea and Samaria. They ruled that, in fact, Israel does have that right. I believe that they do, according to the uh, 1920 and 1922 uh, uh, League of Nations agreement that it, that it promised, uh, in both cases, everything west of, of the Jordan River were going, was going for a Jewish homeland. In 1920, it was both that side and east of the, of, of the uh, Jordan River. Israel was willing to accept west, uh, and yet even that was taken away from them during the uh, Second World War when they did not allow any Jews to Im immigrate into the country to where they could build the country up. And instead, they were allowing a lot of illegal immigration from Egypt and from Jordan at that time. Uh, moving right along in other news as well, Ukraine uh, has seized Iran-bound plane carrying uh, anti-tank missiles amongst its cargo. There were two uh, cargo bins that were carrying in, uh, mixed in with airplane parts, uh, anti-tank missiles, and although, that the, uh, it, although there has been a lift on the ban to Iran, weapons is still uh, an embargo to Iran, but that still got through nonetheless, and uh, these weapons were headed there. So Ukraine did seize it. The, uh, the, of course, the plane crew said that they had no idea uh, what was involved? What was inside the cargo holes? Uh, other than what their manifest had stated, it was not listed on the manifest, uh, and so they were detained at that time. Um, we also have uh, there was uh, happening in uh, Poland 
a U.S. military truck, military truck, the driver lost control of his truck. It overturned and um, uh, was filled with tank shells for the Abram M1 uh, tanks there. Uh, I don't think anyone was actually hurt in the incident, though, that that happened down there in, uh, in southwest Poland, or midwest Poland there, I should say, um, just north of the Czech Republic here, uh, off of Germany's side there is where that happened at there. Also, a derailment, a train derailment in India. Death toll has risen to 39, as you can see in this image right here. Very much a tragedy. The number of casualties of the train derailment in the India state of uh, Andhrahar Pradesh reached 39, according to local media. Death uh, says uh, um, India Railway Minister Sarush Praduha arrived on, on site order to launch an investigation into the incident. According to the newspaper, the Ministry of Railways announced uh, compensation to the injured and additional compensation for relatives for those uh, deceased in the crash. The train went off the uh, rails late on Saturday night uh, with earlier reports indicating that 32 people were killed in the incident. Still unknown though exactly as to why this happened. Anyway, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Thanks for watching there. And uh, sorry about the blurry image earlier there. We still had it on manual focus uh, from when we were in Paris, France there. Anyway, shalom. God bless you. And